Hey guys, me Tesla. Hey, I'm in the view. Starbucks, Starbucks Zero, the new Starbucks game that came out this year. Sorry, this is really right? I'm playing this game and holy shit, I have a lot of issues with this game. Let's get started. What's the big plot? Um, the universe's favorite squad of animal fly boys is Bat, a fast-paced shooter. You are the legendary pirate Fox McCrab. And General Pepper has called on you to save the, the Lyrat system from destruction to bring peace to the galaxy. You're the blast through laser enemies both in space and on the surface of cover plants. Luckily, Starbucks, Allied, Falco, Peppy, and Shippy are on hand to help you in dark fights and lads you when you mess up. There are a variety of ships to master, including yeah, the best of the plot. But anyway, it, 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 it's just the first Starbucks 64. That's the way the plot. So, going into this game, I'm a huge Starbucks fan. I love Starbucks 64. I love Starbucks Avengers. That game's very underrated. People are just, should not trust that game. And I love Starbucks Assault. Now, I'm not with Starbucks Command because I have the 3DS and I didn't care about that game. And I've been waiting for, for new Starbucks game for years. I mean, oh shit, ever since the GameCube. Damn time for it. And after playing this, I have to say, um, I'm disappointed. But hey, is it a bad game? No. Like, graphically, it's amazing. Like, I love Platinum. Platinum, I'm the one who made this game, and Platinum are great developers. And I, I love their games, so I'm hoping that this game will be amazing. Now, this game was amazing. Graphically, it was great. Like, graphics are beautiful, like, oh, oh shit. Like, I love the graphics. Um, the story, I think, it, it's Star Wars 64. So, if you read Star Wars 64, you already know the plot. So, it's the same bit of plot we've seen before. But, updated. Whoa. I miss Crystal. Um, all the characters are great, as always. Like, Fox the Crab, Sam Fox the Crab, as always. Falco's great. Peppy's great. They, they changed some dialogue points in that noise from Super 64, like, um, Joel Barrow, they changed that from, from Peppy to Shippy, which that's annoying. Um, another change I didn't like in general was, well, what thing I remember in general, they had the updated times, which is fine, but. It seemed to me that there were a lot of passages it through the same destination, which I get that, but the start of that I remember, you know, I have two paths. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe when we play it, I'll find out with the secret ending. Um, as a boss fight, boss fights are intense on hell. It, it, it is Platinum Metallica. Platinum the one, since you made Mug so Lighting Revengeance, it's awesome. Like, that game is amazing, and. The boss fight are might be very intense. Now, as for controls. Oh boy, this is where we get the negatives. The motion control. Who who thought who thought I this idea was a good idea with the Wii U motion control? Like being at the at the way to pilot the ship, pilot the army. I get that, yes, and, and it looks fine, but the aiming? Oh my god, I fucked that up. A bad way. We could Aiming in this game is it, a complete nightmare. You better have to, have to hold the control in your hand and have to rotate the control actually while you're flying. Which doesn't help at all because that, I, that's not aiming. That, like, that's stupid. Motion control um, are the reason why this game pays me off a lot. Because everything is good, the, the control, they fucked it up. Like, firing bombs is annoying at all. It, it, you don't know which is which. Um, Controlling the all ring at the is good, but controlling the ground, the, the ground at the or chicken walker with the all ring, it's a nightmare. Ugh. Also, the aiming mechanic fucking sucks. I mean, Jesus Christ, they messed that up. How you mess that up? And the thing is, no, no one wants motion controls. Like, you can't change control, you can't change right to the oh, Wiimote or, or to the gamepad. You're, you're stuck. You're stuck with with, with the Wii with the Wii U at the um, controller, and that's it. Which sucks because that's, that's not how I play Starbucks. So I mean, I control my idiot. And call me crazy. 
I let it happen. Hang on. I let it happen. Like, a tradition control scene like this. Instead, instead, um, in, no. Instead, acted the Wii U motion control. Sorry, Spike. Send the Wii U motion controls. My God, it's because you're a nightmare. Ugh, that 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 pissed me off about this game. You can't change controls. You're stuck at the with the Wii U, U motion control. And that's it. Oh goody. Ugh, that that that's the negative I have. And and then the thing I have is that this game with the main game I played. Yes, I get it. It's, it's a reboot. I get that, but. Call me crazy, I'd rather have a sequel to Star Wars Assault than a, re than a reboot. Why, why do we have to go back to the very beginning? We see, I've seen that story. I don't get it. Uh, that, like, that, that, that pays me off because I like Crystal. Crystal was amazing. I love her character. Why do, why do we have to reboot? I don't get it. Anyways, maybe, maybe that's Nintendo Sins. Who knows? Anywho. Um, graphics are great, story is the same story I played before, um, Game Boy is fine, it's just to, just to control, they effed up, um, let's see, I'm gonna talk about, Boy, the voice acting is fine, it's good, it, it's the same as the story, I think, so it never had to change, um, I'm gonna talk about, Graphics, graphics are good, story is the same story I've seen before, um, is this game repetitive? Yes and no, it's fun, but it's entirely it's frustrating. Anyways, um, sorry I wrap this up. Final thoughts, um, if you're a fan of Star Wars like I am, I'll tell you, I do, I can you do when, when this game, Doug, man, buying it. Probably not. I think the better option is to rent it, but if you can't rent it, then you know what? Just wait, wait till, wait till the price goes down. Oh my god. Okay, I'm waiting. Final part, I give Starbucks Zero a, um, a 2.5. Oh. A 2.5 out of 5 stars. Or 2 out of 5 stars. Wait, every game is fine, it's a control it the way I think you no know I'm going higher. I'm gonna give it a um three a th three half stars. It's not a bad game, but as a Star Wars fan, I'm huge disappointed. This game sucked. It wasn't it's not horrible, but you know it it it's not really that great as I want it to be. Anywho. That's my review of Star Trek Zero, um, the newest Wii U game. And please um, comment down, please comment down below to you think about, about this game. Do you like it? Do it. it. Also, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and please um, subscribe to my channel. Until next moment, peace out. Oh, before we go, um, what's your all-time favorite Star Star Fox game? Me personally, it's um Star Wars 64, um Star Star Assault, and that's it. Anyway, until then, peace out. Long live Starbucks. Bye.